Hey there, good morning and welcome back to Dakota News Now. It is now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors. Joining me as always, Doug Schroeder from Lewis. And Doug, we have some guests here this week. We do, we do. It's our favorite segment of the year. Uh, it's become a tradition on Owning Your Outdoors to have gardening with kids. Uh, it's kind of re re uh, evolved around the years. So one year we had up to 30 kids, remember uh, yep. down at the plaza there. Uh, this year, a smaller group, but uh, gonna have fun um, nonetheless. Uh, Kids love the garden. Yeah, it's like we were talking about, like growing up, we were out there with our parents, grandparents, hanging out in the garden. Yes, I, that's the way I grew up and that's the way I've learned most of my horticulture is from my grandparents. My parents uh, just spending time in the garden, learning about different plants and the care it takes. So today we're gonna put some planters together. Uh, last year we did a traditional planter, which we used a spike in the center. This year we're gonna use some what I would say tropical grasses, some better grasses than just a traditional spike. That is the thriller of the planter. It should go in the middle of the planter. And then the kids will pick out other plants to go around it. I would say about four other plants to go around the plant should be sufficient. So what's your name? Ashlyn Timmerman. Ashlyn, and uh, what are you thinking here? Are you going for the pink all around? Is that what you're doing? I think Brooklyn picked pink all around. Did you? Yep. What other colors do you think about putting in there? Brooklyn, what other colors? <laughs> what colors are you going to do, Brooke? Yeah, I, 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 trust, I trust your guys' uh, color picking better than mine. Let's be real here. How are we doing over here? Hi. Hi, can you say hello? Say hi, Mara. <laughs> <laughs> hi. <laughs> Helping mom and dad over here? Oh, yeah. You're a good helper. She likes to dump the dirt in. Oh, that's the best part. That's the yeah, most fun. Right? She hasn't eaten it yet, so we're doing good. There you good. go, Nora. There you go, honey. <laughs> She's ready to Mara. water them, she told me. She's ready to water them. Here, Mara, there's the dirt. Mara, you want to pour some dirt in there? You dump it in you again. Dump it in there. there oh, there you go. You go. That's job, perfect. Honey. Oh, it's a lot better than I could do. <laughs> well, you like the purple and the reds? You like that one? Oh, this is looking nice. Is it pretty? There we go. You like that combination? It's just a good good way to get the family out, get them together, just to do a little bonding, right? It is, it is. And it's, I always say it's a great uh, um, maturing point because you learn to take care of the plant. You learn to, just to take care of the, um, something that's living and yep. watch it grow and uh, mature. And nobody's fighting, nobody's arguing. It's just a good time. Yes, kids love flowers. So it's a good family activity. Uh, it's something to do together and um, at the end of the day, uh, have something beautiful for your patio. Oh, exactly. We're going to have more about this coming up online at Dakota News Now after the show. Make sure you stick around, though. We have Fastcast coming up next. 